Your certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. We're going to be dealing with a lot of humidity this mm -hmm. week. We haven't seen that in quite a while. Yeah, so this is a pretty long stretch of high humidity, even warm temperatures and lots of clouds. Uh, a couple rain chances this week, but higher rain chances coming our way this weekend. High temperatures each day this week, despite the clouds near 90 degrees. Again, a couple uh, rain chances and that'll be late tonight, tomorrow morning. Then again, late Thursday, better chance of rain this weekend as a polar cold front moves south across the region. We'll be Rodriguez Law weather camera showing you it is 71 degrees and cloudy. It's also breezy south southeast wind at 11 miles an hour. Air temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. The air is more saturated, so we have more cloud cover. And at night, that cloud cover is almost like a blanket in the sky, so temperatures are warmer. High humidity, it's uh, it's here, and again, it's here to stay. We have an increase in low level moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Dew points in the mid to upper 60s and even low 70s there around Uvalde. Plenty of clouds with that saturated air mass. You can see the clouds continuing to cover much of south central Texas. There is a Pacific cold front that's parked just to the west of the region that will slowly push to the east throughout the day today, and that's going to help to trigger some storms, some strong storms later today into tonight up across central and north Texas. And there is the chance that we could pick up a, just a couple showers with that front late tonight, tomorrow morning here in San Antonio. Uh, after this morning, we are going to see some peaks of sun, uh, but but it's not going to be an overly sunny day by any means. Tomorrow morning, it is going to be cloudy. Late tonight, tomorrow morning, we'll have to watch right around there for maybe a strong isolated thunderstorm. You see the front works its way towards San Antonio and I-35 by uh, 7, 8 tomorrow morning. That could help to produce a couple of showers. By noontime, it's dry. Then the rest of the day, it will be mostly cloudy. It will be cloudy again Wednesday morning, mostly cloudy Wednesday afternoon. Marginal risk for an isolated strong thunderstorm from Rock Springs to northern Valverde County. Any strong thunderstorm that develops there could produce some hail and high winds. A large area of a slight risk of severe thunderstorms, scattered severe thunderstorms possible there from central Texas all the way into southern South Dakota. Enhanced risk across Nebraska and northern Kansas. That's where severe storms are likely, which could produce large hail, high winds, maybe even an isolated tornado or two. Uh, fast forwarding uh, to Thursday, late Thursday, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, there could be a thunderstorm or an isolated shower, but more widespread showers and possible storms this weekend as this cold front moves south across the area. I don't think we'll have much thunderstorm activity this weekend. Most of the storms may miss us just to the northeast. It does get cooler behind the front, so after a warm week, temperatures will be a lot lower for the weekend. Cloudy and humid this morning, temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s through the morning will be closer to the mid 70s at noon this afternoon some peaks of sun warm humid breezy forecast high 86 maybe as high as 87 where the clouds will stay put the entire day that's going to be that's where it's going to be cooler 83 in the eastern zone 84 in the hill country meanwhile in the western zone highs in the low 90s tomorrow morning slight rain chance couple showers then for the rest of the day mostly cloudy 88 wednesday mostly cloudy high near 90 couple showers maybe a thunderstorm thursday afternoon afternoon Thursday night, Friday partly sunny and drier. Then notice those higher rain chances this weekend, 80 degrees Saturday, 75 degrees on Sunday. Won't be a complete washout this weekend. Here's the extended forecast for the other three zones. If you missed this here, you can get a closer look at news4sa.com. Just click on the weather tab. We'll be right back after the short break.